If you're going to do these wheel horse transmissions, you'll need a way to get these bearings out here. So this is what I came up with. Got some fingers with ledges. And they'll fit in here. I'm going to keep them apart with some feeler gauges. So it's got a good hold of the inner race right there. So I don't know if you can tell, but somebody has been in this transmission before. So they pressed this bearing in here and it doesn't have the spacer like this spacer belongs behind it. That keeps these bearings from being right up against the back surface. This is a different type of bearing. It has enough of a chamfer here that you can get your puller fingers behind it and this type of bearing does not so without this spacer in there I'll have a way of getting this bearing out of there so I'm fixing to weld a nut right there onto that bearing just so I can pull the thing out of there so that'll ruin the bearing but <clears throat> what I need is this housing As you can see without that spacer it allowed the shaft to dig into the side plate there also so them spacers need to be in there well I was expecting to put some sort of bridge across there and pull upward on it but if it's uh, not very tight in there maybe it'll just come out pushing against the back side of the bore Alright, I got this bearing here. It's in a totally blind hole. I don't have any way to get some puller teeth behind it. Uh, I'd kind of like to not destroy the bearing getting it out, so we're going to try this hydraulic method that I've seen done. Never tried it. So we're going to put this with the end of the shaft at the base down on the vise. Not really clamping hard, I just want to be able to hit down on it. I'm going to put some grease in there and I'm going to drive this shaft in there. See if it'll come out. Now we're going to cover it and hit it. I don't want to feel grease squirting at my hands. Don't feel anything moving, and that's definitely not bottomed out. the bearing came out. How about that?
to get these bushings out of here. But it looks like they're uh, up against the shoulder inside there. So I got this washer, put some flats on the edge of it, ground it down a little bit so it'll fit in the inside. So the flats are so I can get it in the hole. Once you get it in the hole you can turn it flat so that it keeps my pin from coming out the bushing. So we're going to press this out. Alright, 